Let's go. Hello everyone and welcome to another rum review. Today we have another plantation rum for the series. It's the last one in uh, this, um, the, the now, maybe there will be maybe more later. Uh, today it's the Plantation Barbados 2002. Um, it was bottled in 2017, so that mean, means it has aged for 15 years. That's pretty good. It is 43.2% uh, alcohol and it costs around, I found it all the way down to 360 Danish crowns for 70 centiliters. That is about, yeah, 35 pounds, maybe 40 dollars and euros, give or take a little bit. So uh, I have my notes here. I couldn't find anywhere what kind of casks this had been aged in. Um, if I were to guess, it's probably ex-bourbon, maybe some ex-cognac, or maybe some, um, yeah, that's probably what I, what I would be guessing, but I don't know, and I don't know for how long in any of those two. It could just be bourbon, it could be, yeah, so I don't know. I do know that it is a mixture of uh, pot stills and column stills that has made, that has distilled this rum, so... I don't know if that will be do making a difference if that's something that I can taste or knows or something, but at least it's pretty good to know. Um, let's just dive into it. Let's just jump into it and nose and taste it. Um, there's no sponsored content in this video, and as always, everything on this channel is just my opinion. Oh yeah, sorry. It's unfortunately chill filtered and artificially colored. But not a lot, because it's not very dark. I think it's lighter than the one yesterday, and even lighter than the um, one from uh, last Monday. A lot of lag on it, though. A lot of it. So as much as the one yesterday, and um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's quite a lot of it. Lag. Yeah. There's a little bit of sharpness, but not very much, but there's a lot more power to it than the one yesterday. And um, that's always a good thing. Because I do enjoy the power and I do enjoy the warmth and the complexity, the sharpness. It's okay if there's only a little, but there's if there's a lot of sharpness, that ruins it for me. There's a, um, I have trouble describing that aroma, but there's a weird sour vinegar feel to, to the nose. Maybe it's the stills that comes through. Maybe it has been aged in something that gives off some kind of white wine flavor. But there's a little bit of um, spice, there's a little bit of wood, and there's a lot of exotic fruits, a lot of exotic fruits. Yeah, that's probably how it is, or that's how it is for me anyway. So now for the tasting, uh, it's good. So the first sip, the palate has a lot of sharpness on the tongue, a lot of it actually. The finish is a lot smoother. There's a lot of vanilla, a lot of honey, and um, it's mouth watering. It just covers your entire mouth, the finish. So the finish is sweet and soft. 
the palate is not at least the first sip it was quite sharp and um uh, so sharp that I couldn't actually pinpoint the flavors so I'm gonna have to do that on the second sip just in a second it's not bad there's no sharpness on the second um, on the second nose There's still that sour vinegar feel to it, but it's probably, if I were to guess, it has aged the majority of the years in ex bourbon cask, and then it has been for some years, three, two, three, two, four years, something like that, in probably cognac casks. That's what I'm guessing. So similar to the other plantations, and that's what the cognac is what's giving off that kind of sour wine feel to it. That's what I would guess. There's some darker um, aromas coming out, uh, such as nuts and uh, dried fruits, but only just hints of it. Um, other than that, it's um, a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of honey and uh, exotic fruits. So, let's taste. It's a, a little bit weird. It's a little bit um, strange, uh, the flavors. There's still some sharpness on the tongue and the, uh, the palate, but 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 not much. Um, and then it's the darker. I don't know why I call it dark. That's just what I think they s seem like. Darker flavors like nuts and dried fruits, but there's also some exotic fruits like bananas and pineapples and those stuff, passion fruit and that. Um, but it's, in my opinion, it's very faint. It's not very, uh, powerful in the flavors. Um, the finish is, um, is warm and has more power, but not a lot of power. And that's vanilla and honey and, um, also some wood and a little bit of spice, actually weird enough, but there is not a lot, just a feel of black pepper mm. it's a very similar to the one yesterday very similar um the barbados plantation rum from 2002 i will be putting at 7.5 so yeah there you have it um the first one i tasted in this series was definitely the best of the three but the plantation 20 years anniversary the xo i have up here is by far the best of the four so it's also the most expensive one but the money is well spent because it is a lot better in my opinion um there's a lot more different flavors to it there's a lot more depth and complexity to it and there's no sharpness in that one at all it's just well it's a lot better so there you have it the Plantation 2002 Barbados Rum is a 7.5 for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it with friends and family. Also, leave a comment down below. I very much love the comments, especially serious questions and ideas about what to do next. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and maybe hit that bell button so you don't miss out. The two next videos, I'm going to try to be doing two beer videos. I got two new beers as gifts. So I'll be throwing them in there tomorrow and the day after, I hope. I'm going to try to do so. Um, next week, there's going to be uh, two rums, one I never heard of, and the last ultimatum rum that I could find. So that's it. One last thing, please check out my Instagram account, underscore. If you like what you see there, please do give me a follow. 
that would be highly appreciated. Just trying to get my remote to work, and then I can say goodbye, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.